Yeah, I'm going to be a little mawkish in this one, and I don't care. Mother, father, brother, sister, aunt, uncle. These words can conjure memories of family fun and unconditional love. Or, on the other side, can trigger darker memories depending on, say, the particular sister or uncle you might be talking about and the relationship you have with them. I have a soft spot for grandmothers. My relationship with my grandmother was one of, if not the, defining one of my life. Fun, laughter, unconditional love, lots of learning and wisdom passed along. This is why, when I think of the reasons I dislike Meghan Markle and her husband, it is the mistreatment of Harry's grandmother that can dig deep into the disdain in the darkest part of my dark heart. Apparently, I am not alone in this. A recent article in The Daily Beast by royal correspondent Tom Sykes spells out just how outraged the late Queen's friends are at the behavior of the prodigal prince and his unfeeling wife, the way they treated his grandmother in the last months of her life. From the article, quote, For the last years of her life, certainly from when her husband died in April 2021, the Queen was in a lot of pain. In the final months, of course, it got very much worse. By the time of the Platinum Jubilee, June 2020, she couldn't see very much, she couldn't hear very much, and she was easily confused. She barely moved from her apartments in Windsor Castle. Appearing on the balcony at the Jubilee required a titanic effort. That was the time for Harry and Meghan to bite their tongue. Instead, they produced this unending stream of incredibly hurtful films and interviews attacking her life's work. For Harry to announce he was writing a memoir when his grandmother was not just recently widowed, but actually dying herself, as he must have known she was, well, the cruelty of it takes the breath away. The idea that they are now going to take a vow of silence after all the damage they have done, even if it was true, which I very much doubt, will do nothing to assuage the anger and disgust some of her friends feel about what they did to the Queen in her final years." Unquote. Think about the people in your life who you have lost. Your mother, your father, your grandmother. What would you give to be able to spend one more hour with your mom, or dad, or granny? How selfish do you have to be to go out of your way to harm your beloved grandmother in her last days? How cold do you have to be to refuse multiple invitations to visit your grandmother as she is dying? How much pain did the betrayal by her beloved grandson cause the late queen? Whatever pain was caused, that isn't ours to forgive, of course, that's a family matter. But trust Meghan and Harry after what they have done to his grandmother? Trust their intentions? Their grasp of truth and reality? Their basic human kindness? That's never going to happen. If you like what we're doing here at The Authentic, consider giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and ringing the bell so you'll be notified when a new video makes its debut, and think about leaving a comment, too. Thank you for watching.